What's poppin' chads, virgins, and gamer girls? Today, we are going to do a they would kick my ass, fair fight, or I would kick my ass video. So, PewDiePie posted one, and I thought, hey, why not do it myself? And I saw no one's done a Super Smash Bros. one, so I thought, why not do a Super Smash Bros. one for myself? So, let's start off with number one. For Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, they would kick my ass, I would kick their ass, fair fight. So, the first one is Banjo-Kazooie. Now, Banjo-Kazooie... Personally, I don't like him a lot. A lot of people love Banjo Kazooie. I think he's a fucking retard, no offense. And he's got a bloody bird that controls him. So if I just stamp on the bird, cook it, then the bear, because I'm Russian, I could easily beat it. So I'd put it about here. That's fine. Okay, so next. Oh, jeez, sorry. Next is. Uh, next is Zero Suit Samus. So Zero Suit Samus. They'd kick, they would kick my ass 100% because she has a fucking gun, okay? Now, Zelda, I think she's a little pussy. She gets bloody beaten up by Ganon and stuff, so I don't see why I can't beat her up. And I think it would it would be very easy to beat her. So, for that, I am going to do... I would kick their ass... I'd put it near Banjo, so about there. Okay, so the next one is Young Link. Now, Young Link, he's a child, okay? He's got a bloody wooden shield, he'd just have to stamp on the wooden shield. He's got a little dagger, he'd probably stab me, so I'd say about here. So they would kick my ass to fair fight, so about in between them. Because A, is a pussy, B, no one liked him, and C, his clothes are just weird. Bandra, I think, is very overrated. Samus, she's got a ray gun, and she's just annoying in general, and she's a very good smash player, so... That's why I'd put her, they would kick my ass. And Zelda, I mean, I could I could move Zelda down a bit because she's got magic powers. But that that's where I'm putting it so far. Okay, so next on the list is Yoshi. Now, I think Yoshi, he, if he wasn't so OP in Smash, he, I would kick his ass 100%. But I'd put it at a fair fight because I think he, he could have some stuff to him that could make him strong and might beat me which is interesting now the next one is wolf and wolf i would put next to zero suit samus again it's a gun if they shot me one time i'd be bloody dead so that's why i'm both putting them at the same and while we're at it we might as well just get all the samus samuses out of the way because i've just had <laughs> bro because literally all the samuses have guns why would i do that that's just dumb okay talking about samus where's zero suit samus oh there she is uh, not Zero Suit Samus, Black Samus, Dark Samus, sorry. I'm going to get her out of the way. So they're all death because they literally have bloody guns. Like, I'm sorry, what the hell? That's just stupid. Um, Wolf, yeah, he goes there. I mean, I haven't played Star Fox a lot, so I don't know that much about Wolf. I just know in Smash. He's a pretty popular character. He's got a gun. That's pretty much all I know about him. We Fit Trainer, I'm sorry, she's absolute trash. I would kick the shit out of her. She goes, like, over here. She goes over here. I'm oh, sorry. She would go, like, on the blood. She's gonna die. All she knows is bloody yoga poses. I'm sorry, that's just stupid. Now, next one is Wario. Now, Wario, I think could be a good one to kick my ass but i also think i could have an edge against warrior but i'm gonna put him near toon link i'm actually gonna move to toon link up a bit toon link young link i keep moving this is toon link sorry okay and the next one is villager now villager is so overrated i hate animal crossing i find animal crossing the dumbest thing ever the dumbest series. Animal Crossing is just so useless, and people who are hyped for New Horizons shouldn't be hyped because it's just a trash game in general, and they should just all go to hell. I'd kick their ass. Just take Village's bloody bloody net, and then just kick him in the head, and then that's done. That's Villager. <laughs> it's Villager gone. And I find Animal Crossing just like so, 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 so bad. I don't know why people like it. It's just trash. Okay, the next one is Toon Link, and for Toon Link, honestly, is Toon younger than Young Link? Because I think it is. If it is, then fair fight, I would move up to here. Because if it's Toon Link, and Toon Link, I think, is weaker than Young Link, so that means Young Link is here, so that would be a bit more... 
But the thing is, he's he's got a better shield and a better fashion sense as well. I'd put it right, like, there. That's I think that's very good. So Terry Bogard is the newest addition. And to be honest, sorry Fatal Fury fans, whatever you bloody call I don't care. I've never played Fatal Fury. I couldn't care less about Terry Bogard. But Terry Bogard, he knows some shit. And so does bloody Ryu and where's Ken? Ken. So they both, they all know, like like martial arts so terry bogard i think he's like here he wouldn't because he would kill me he wouldn't kill me but he'd give me a lot of pain because he doesn't have a bloody gun he literally can't kill me with a gun so i'd put him about about here that that seems reasonable okay so the next one is sonic now sonic is interesting because sonic is very fast but the fastness doesn't increase his damage because all he can do is just stamp on you and use his speed which kind of I'm I think is kind of like the same as the flash, but the flash kind of has some like other things that is a bit different. So I'd say between Wario and Yoshi, and I think I should move Wario Wario down a bit because that's a bit insulting. So I'm gonna move Wario down. Okay, so the next one is Snake. Now Snake I'm putting here because he has a bloody bomb. Like I'm sorry, I'm gonna put him just on the like he could just hide behind Zero Suit Samus because he'd completely kill me. And that's just like unacceptable. So, next one we have is Simon. Now, Simon is interesting because I've never played again a Castlevania. A lot of people get triggered at me. I don't care. I've never played Castlevania. I couldn't care less about Simon. I couldn't care less about his addition. We knew Waluigi. We don't need bloody Simon. Who cares about Simon? No offense. Oh, Simon and Richter. Oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. No, I don't find the appeal of Simon as a character but he does talking about that he does have like a bloody metal ball with spikes on it so i'm guessing in between uh, i'd put him here because terry bogard what he does is he uses this massive ball thing to like hit his opponents and kind of kick their ass but not like more than terry bogard because terry bogard could only use his hand powers whereas simon can use his big ball which is very different. Now the next one is Shulk. Again, I haven't played. I don't even know what game Shulk is from. What game is Shulk from? Is it, I swear it's like Xenoblade Chronicles. I've never played a Xenoblade Chronicles. I did want to play the newest one uh, on the Switch, but hey, I didn't have enough money. I'm too broke for it. But I might, I might give it a try in the future. But he's got massive iron sword. But hey, he's got no shield like Link does, and he can't have like bloody farting powers like warrior does uh i put him about um i put him there because no actually you know what? i'm gonna put him at the, at the same place as simon because again simon is stronger than terry bogart because again terry bogart only has his hand powers I don't know a lot about Terry Bogard, but I know is he does martial arts and stuff. Whereas Shulk, he has his uh, his sword. I have played a Shulk. I'm not that brain dead. Oh Jesus Christ! Let's bring him back. The next one is Sheik. So Sheik, I know is it's spoiler alert for Zelda if you haven't played it, but it's it's basically Zelda as a different character. And until Brawl, uh, in Brawl, Sheik and Zelda were the same character, but then in I think it was the Wii U version. They split them up. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. You need to check it out with someone else. But that's why I think. Again, Sheik's got. Sheik is literally the same as Zelda. So I'm just gonna put her there because it's literally the same as Zelda. So Samus, we've already done. Ryu. Now Ryu is similar to Terry because he's martial arts. But I think Street Fighter is a bit better than Terry Bogard, so I'm just going to move him up more to the they would kick my ass scale. Next one is Roy. Now, Roy and Fire Emblem, or whatever game he's from, I couldn't even care less. Fire Emblem or the other one, doesn't matter. Actually, I'm going to search up what game Roy is from. Roy. Oh my god. Oh 
Wait, so is he from Fire Emblem? Then? Okay, so Roy is from Fire Emblem, but I've never, again, I've never played any of these games. I don't know why they add these stupid-ass characters to the game. Roy, I don't know who he is. I've, I haven't got any backstory. I've played him in Smash. I know he ha he's a sword fighter, but that's all I know. And swords, so far, I've put um near Shulk, but he, he looks like a weakling. I'm sorry, Shulk looks strong. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move Shulk down as well, because that's just annoying. There you go. You can both go on the same scale. Nice. Now, next one is Rosalina. Rosalina is so overhyped. Honestly, she is just so annoying and just so, like, <sighs> I don't know why, but she's just... She fight. She's really annoying. She's a trash character in Smash. Mario Galaxy. She's irrelevant. Like she's she's better than Peach. Don't get me wrong. Peach is bloody trash. But Rosalina is still just. Oh my god. I don't. I don't like Rosalina. I'm not very familiar with her. So I would. I no. She's got some star power. So I'd put her near Bandon Kazoo because I'd knock that little Luma out of her hand and then just destroy her. Next one is Robin. Now Robin, I also don't know where it's from. I'm I'm hoping he's from Fire Emblem as well. Yep, he's from Fire Emblem. How did I guess? All of these bloody characters are from Fire Emblem. I've had enough of it, honestly. But um yeah. You know what? I might just have to play a Fire Emblem game at this point because I just don't know these characters. But Robin, Sword Fighter, again, we're going to put him here. No, he's actually a magic character. Now, this is interesting. This is where it gets interesting. He's magic. No one else has magic except for Zelda. But I don't know. No offense to Zelda, but Robin looks a bit stronger than Zelda. Not because he's a bloody m male. It's just because Zelda gets bloody. If she's so good at magic, why doesn't she just get out of Ganondorf and kill Ganondorf or whatever? She has to always say, "Oh, oh, Link, help me, please." So listen, I don't know. I'd say I'd put Robin down here. That seems that seems fair enough. Because Zelda's just a weakling. I'm sorry. And you know what? No, Sheik, Sheik is way better. I know Sheik is the same as Zelda, but still, he's like martial arts and stuff, while Zelda's just like, mm, magic -y, cool. Like, no. Okay, that's not interesting. Now, Rob is a robot. Just turn off the bloody power switch, and there you go. Death. <laughs> you, you don't even have to do anything. Ridley is a bloody dragon. If you expect me to kill a dragon, you are 100% wrong. That is death. That is death off the scale. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just going to put him here next to Samus because they're best friends. There you go. You guys can go together. Right, now Richter, I'm going to put at the exact same place as Simon because I don't care. Pokemon Trainer. Now, Pokemon. I'm not too familiar with the games. Love the cards. Not love the cards. I'm not, like, obsessive card collector, but I have got some Pokemon cards up there. Might do another video on that. That's pretty cool. But I need to collect some more first because I'm looking a bit low on them. Um, but Pokemon Go, I, I, I'm literally obsessed with it right now. I literally just been, because I have a Pokestop right next to my house. So I just spin that Pokestop and I'm trying to get to level 40. Because when you get to level 40, which is, in case you didn't know, the highest level on Pokemon Go, you actually get to request where you want a Pokestop. So I could re just request it in places that I want. Um, but Pokemon, no, Pokemon I like. And I think... Considering Pokemon Train has all three, so it's like, oh, if fire's not effective, then I'll just get the the grass one or whatever, bloody leaf one of uh, of Venusaur, and then I'll just get the water one if those two both aren't effective. Uh, yeah, I'd I'd give Pokemon Train a solid. They would kick my ass because yeah, I'd put it there. Okay, so the next one is Pit. I saw Pits from, like, Kid Icarus. Yeah, there we go, Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. Guess what, guys? I haven't played Kid Icarus. I've never played a Kid Icarus game. I don't know why this is, like, such a big deal, but he's, like, a magic-y type of person, too. So I'm going to put him near Robin. There you go. That's what you get. Piranha Plant. Now, this was, like, really surprise addition for me in Smash. But honestly... It sounded weird at first, but when they actually added him into the game, it was such a good move. Like, honestly, they couldn't have thought of anyone better because he's a heavy character and he they use him really well. And I think that's really, really cool that they added him in the game. But despite all that, I'd say it's I'd say it's a fair fight, honestly, like that. That would be a fair fight. Pikachu. Mm, I think that he's a bit weaker than the Pokemon trainer because he hasn't got all three of the Pokemon. 
but po still, he's a bloody electricity. Like, I'm sorry. So I'd, I'd put him there. And then P the next one is Pichu. Now, Pichu is a bit even more stronger than Pikachu, I'd say, because he's quicker. And, yeah, he, you might agree that he has weaker attacks. Well, not necessarily. He has stronger attacks, but he just takes damage to his attacks in Smash in itself. Which is kind of a negative, I guess, but his attacks are basically better. Now, Peach. Peach. Oh my god, I hate Peach. You don't understand how much I... Every time I see Peach, I'm just like, no, delete. Peach is annoying. Peach, I would kick her ass. The only thing she bloody has in, is an umbrella. That's it. That's all she has. She has an umbrella and nothing else that makes her unique as a character. She's even worse than R Rosalina. Like, Rosalina, she's at least got a Luma and some magic. Peach has got a bloody umbrella. Oh my god, how is this a character? I don't understand. And Daisy as well. Daisy, I'm going to get to later. She, she is just like, oh my god. Let's put Peach there. Peach should just die. She's not even on the scale. There we go. You're just off. Peach is just off. There we go. Next one, Palutena. I'm guessing, is it from Fire Emblem? Let's look. Palutena is from... Kid Icarus. Damn, okay. I didn't know that. Hold up. I thought she was from Fire Emblem as well. Well, that's my knowledge for you. Palutena, she is actually pretty good at magic, so I'd give her higher than Kid Icarus. I'd put her near Roy. That seems logistic. Actually, you know what? No, I'd put her there. There we go. Um, Pac-Man. I mean, he's just a big yellow thing, isn't he? So I'd just bloody... I'd kick her with his ass. No offense. I mean... No, I'd kick his ass. Yeah, he's too friendly. Olimar. Why? Why is like all the kick-ass ones now? Like, I guess Olimar, yeah, but like Olimar's such a weak character in the game. Like, it's just upsetting. I think they could have. I've never played a Pikmin game personally. No, I've played a Pikmin game like sl slightly, but not like I, I've, ha I've owned a Pikmin game. I played. They are pretty enjoyable, I guess, but like I'm not really a huge Pikmin fan. But I think Olimar should be given some justice because he's just like so trash as a character in Smash, which I think is a shame. Ness. Where do you think he's going to go, honestly? Ness. Now, Ness is... Mm, I thought he was going to go kick your ass, but then I thought, because he's got the PK Thunder, he's got all of that stuff. He's got the baseball bat, so I think he could actually be a fair fight as well. Because, like, he's a little child, obviously, but he's got, like, bloody magic. Village has literally got nothing, okay? He's got a bomb, okay, cool, but you need the bloody net. You could just kick him in the forehead. This guy's actually got a bat to protect himself. This guy's got a net to protect him. I'm talking about village. A village has got a net to protect himself, okay? Um, Ness has got a bat to protect himself and magical powers, while villagers just trash, you can just kick him in the head, and he'll probably just fall down and be like, oh, oh, game over. Okay, right. Now we've got Game & Watch. Now, Game & Watch is really cool. I really like Game & Watch. Game & Watch is a really good character. I'm thinking. Game & Watch. Because hmm. Game & Watch is interesting because he can transform into other stuff. I'd put him near Kid Icarus. That seems... Between Warrior and Kid Icarus. That seems fair. Me Fighter. I mean, they're just normal human beings, aren't they? I, get, I guess he has a sword, but like that's a p kind of pathetic sword. And you'd be like, Oh, well, he's got a god, so surely he's death, isn't he? Three battle. Yeah, because all the other god wads are at death. No, that doesn't mean anything. I'm saying all three of them combined equals... That's actually a really good one for a fair fight, I'd say. Mewtwo, he's the god of Pokemon, so he goes there immediately. Meta Knight... Hmm. Meta Knight is basically like a OP Kirby. <laughs> So like, but Meta, yeah, he's got like a a sword as well. So I guess he goes with all the other sword ones. There you go, Mega Man. Mega Man's like a weak gun character. Like he's like a child as well. You can probably knock him out. Ah, I'd put him near Pichu, because he's like he's a gun character. Um, Mega Man games I haven't played. Kirby games I have played. Uh, no Mega Man games. Mega Man games I've heard are very good. I might. Try Try some in the future. Sorry for that muted mic. I just clicked the button accidentally. But um, Mega Man is a good <sighs> Mega Man is a good um, game I should play. But maybe in the future, I don't know. 
maybe I really want to get like a capture card so I can capture a lot of games on my Switch, maybe like some Mario Maker and stuff like that, that would be a really good video in the future to make, because I think I can milk a lot of content out of that, and I think I could do some okay commentary, so Mega Man, you can go here, there you go, Marth, now Marth is a sword fighter, where do you think he's gonna go? A bit stronger, actually, because Marth is a good character in Smash. There you go, you can go there, just hide behind the other ones. Mario, the OG classic, I think it could be a fair fight. There you go, you can, no, you can go on this side, Mario, because I respect you. There you go. Luigi, a better version of Mario, I'd say, no offense, Mario, but he's got some better attacks in the game, and a lot of pro players use them. You know what, you, Luigi, I feel sorry for you. And Luigi's Mansion 3 just came out. You can go there. You're welcome. Lucina, bang, death. She's going to kill me. I'm sorry. Lucas. Lucas can go. Lucas can is a shittier version of Ness. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, Lucario. Lucario's okay. I mean, he's a Pokemon. But, like, you can go on the same level as Mario. That's a, that's a really good. Now, Little Mac, he's just a boxer. His recovery is trash. I mean, he's a boxer, so he'll go... He's not as good as bloody Sheik. He'll go here. That's a good... That's nice enough. Link, bang. He's better than all the sword... Oh my god, I don't know what happened to Link. What happened to Link? Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm sorry. Apparently, Link isn't working. Oh, great. <laughs> well, my Link isn't working, apparently. So, I'm sorry, guys, for the delay. Ouch. Um... Yeah, I don't know why, why, why is Link not working? Oh my god, sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to fix the problem here, why isn't Link working? There we go. Uh, Link, Link is very good, I put him here. I put him stronger than all the death. I have a lot in the death, Jesus Christ. You know, I'm going to move Terry Bogard, where's Terry? Uh, Terry Bogart, I'm going to move him down a bit, I think he, he's like there, after rethinking it, um, where were we, we were on, Jesus, I forgot, we were on Link, yeah, so the next one is Kirby, this little puffball, oh, he's so cute, I would kick his ass, no offense, the only thing he could do is suck, suck me inside and turn me into himself, that nearly turned very weird, Next one, King K. Rool. I'm sorry, he's he's just OP. He's he is the literal best character in Smash. Don't even argue with me. I know this is a video of mine, but this is the best character. This this is an absolute Giga Chad. If you want to be a Giga Chad, you need to be like King K. Rool. This guy is insane. This guy is just a mad lad. Look at him. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, bro. Oh my god, I'm so happy for him. He goes, like, there. There you go, you're welcome. Whew, this is harder. King DDD. Great, now I've bloody done something to King K. Rool. King K. Rool, what are you going to do? Ah, my video is ruined. Okay, fine, let's just leave him like that, it's fine. Okay, next one. So basically, King K. Rool is the best. Just put that in your head. There you go. King K. Rool, you can go away. Right, so King DDD. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to delete King K. Rool. I'm sorry. Delete. Delete. Yeah, so King K. Rool is really good, but I just... um. Why is this... Bro, Photoshop's just glitching. Okay, just don't forget about that. I'm sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, we were talking about King DDD. King DDD is a really good. Let me just get King K. Rool. I'm sorry, I can't. King K. Rool was my favorite character. I can't disrespect him. Just say, oh, sorry, guys. He wasn't in the video, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me just get King K. Rool, guys. Again, okay. but in all seriousness, I need to get King K. Rool because he is the best character in Smash. Don't even argue with me. I don't. I don't find it funny. You don't find it funny. We don't find it funny. Since he's such a giga chad, there you go, King K. Rool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, right. King DDD. Moving on. We are gonna go to King DDD. I feel so bad. <laughs> no, what did I do? Okay, right. King Kiro, I'm actually gonna make small. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> oh my God. Everyone's gonna be like, Oh, King King Kiro bot. Oh, oh, you're such a bot to King Kiro. King Kiro is a madness. He's a madness. I'm sorry. He's just like the best. 
character in Smash. That is it. No, no one can even argue. I've beaten everyone with King K. Rool, bro. King K. Rool is a god. Okay, I'm sorry. Also, my Smash preferred controller is this bloody GameCube controller. It's so good. Because it's not it's not a GameCube controller, it's like a USB GameCube controller, which is really nice. I really like the click of the buttons. It's like a Zelda themed one, which is really cool. And I recommend you get it. Um yeah. So that's a good one to get. Now, King DDD. Interesting one. King DDD can suck up like Kirby, but he's got the hammer attack and he's kind of like Meta Knight but bigger. So I'm gonna put him there. That's a good one. Alright, Ken. Can we were talking about earlier martial arts? Martial arts, we're gonna move down because we moved down Terry Bogard. Where's Terry Bogard? I just, oh, yeah, there he is. Uh, Ken is, uh, we're gonna put him near Ryu. I'm gonna put him like there and then we're gonna move Ryu as well. Where's Ryu? There we go. I'm gonna move Ryu. There you go. Okay, right, next one. Now, this is an interesting one. Um, a lot of people are gonna get pissed at me with this, but Joker. Joker is such an OP character in Smash, but he's just really weird because he's like magical and has a really weird thing to him. So I'm just going to put him here. Be nice to jo No, I'm going to put him near Meta Knight. There we go. Jigglypuff. He's, he's literally there. I'm sorry. Isabel. Oh my god, just stop with the Animal Crossing, please. Everyone's so excited. Oh my god, Isabel, Isabel, we love Isabel, we love Isabel. Isabel is trash. Don't like Isabel. Me Mina liked Isabel. Don't like Isabel. Isabel is trash. Sorry about that. Um, but no, seriously, you should not like Isabel. Isabel is just annoying. And yeah. Now, Inkling is very good. I like the Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2 is good game. Very much like. Um, she's got a gun, but it's the paint gun, which is cool. But the paint gun, I put I put a near. Oh, Mega Man, that's perfect. Mega Man and Inkling kind of make a pairing because Mega Man's kind of like boy, but he's still got like a proper ray gun, whereas Inkling is like more hardcore, but still a teen. But she's got a paint gun, so that kind of works, balances out. So they're kind of similar. Incineroar, again, Pokemon, I don't really know Incineroar. He's fire, he's bloody f on fire, so I'm going to put him, like, stronger than Meta Knight and stuff. Ike. Ike is a very powerful, heavy character. I'm going to put him there. Ice Climbers. <sighs> Pussies. I'm going to put them there. I just, I don't know, Ice Climbers are just, I think they just declined in popularity, because Ice Climbers used to be really, really popular, and then they just went, went downhill. Ike is a really good character, because he's heavy, and, like, basically he'll do, like, 100 damage with, like, one swing of his bloody sword. Um, Hero, Hero is an interesting one, because I haven't played the Dragon Quest, but I have got the new Dragon Quest Eleven S for my older brother, because he loves Dragon Quest, and I actually did purchase Hero, and Hero is very good in Smash, and he's got a sword, he's got a shield, he's near, he's about Link level, he's about Sword Fighter level, there we go, Sword Fighters, we're just putting all the Sword Fighters into one place, look at, look at my death, compared to my non-death, <laughs> There's so many in death, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, right. I'm I'm just really a pussy, honestly. Or, or I'm not a pussy, or I'm actually strong. But these characters are just OP, like the are Greninja just licks you, doesn't do anything boring. Ganondorf would absolutely destroy me. It's the only one nearest to King K. Rule, literally. Fox. I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him. Uh, weaker than Wolf because Wolf because Wolf um is apparently stronger in this game than Fox because I know a lot of um Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Pro players have been playing as Fox but not a lot of have, of them have been playing as um Fox because Fox was really popular back in Melee but now he's kind of weak so I don't know Falco Falco if he actually works hello Falco <laughs> great um. <laughs> Uh, why isn't this working? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, okay, right, we're just gonna ignore Falco. He's like a B Tech. B Tech Fox, it's fine. Okay, I just can't do anything about it, I'm sorry.
I'm gonna try and do something. No, I just can't do something. I'm sorry. But yeah, Fox is Fal Falco's pretty much near Fox. Duck Hunt. Now Duck Hunt was actually interesting because he only got introduced in the Wii U ones. Sorry, he only got introduced in the um. I think he only got introduced in the Wii U ones. But it's again, it's literally the same thing as Bandit because look, they're so similar. It's literally a bird, okay, and a dog. Bird and a bear. Bear's a bit stronger, dog's a bit weaker. I'm gonna put them there. There you go. Um, next one, Doctor Mario. Where's Mario? Come on, Doctor Mario is stronger because he'll drug you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's pretty much the same level as Mario. Uh, it's so ironic that Mario and Do Mario and Sonic are at the same place. <laughs> uh, I find that funny. Donkey Kong. He's a really strong character in Smash. I'd put him there. Diddy Kong is an absolute favorite. One second, I'll show you my epic Diddy Kong amiibo I got from Japan. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, Jesus. It's kind of dusting up, but hey, I'm going to polish it so it looks nice. But yeah, that's my Diddy Kong amiibo I brought from Japan. It's actually really cheap in Japan, but it's really expensive in England. So that's why I bought it there, and I'm a big fan of Diddy Kong, even though I haven't played much of his games. But yeah, Diddy Kong I really like. He used to be really OP in Super Smash Bros. 4, and some pro players are playing with him in Smash. So yeah, hopefully he's a good character. But hey, you never know. Uh, I'd put Diddy Kong as solid near Richter. Dark Samus we've already done. Dark Pit... Now, Dark Pit is literally the same as Pit West Pit. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. Assumption of the years. Daisy, I've already talked about. Daisy and Peach should not be in the game. Daisy and Peach, we take away, we bring Waluigi. That's it. If Sakurai brings Waluigi, I'm going to have a bloody steroids. I might. Next time they have a Nintendo Direct, I'm probably going to film that and do a reaction video on that as well. Because you guys love the reaction videos, don't you? Yeah, I know. Great. Thanks for the feedback. Um. Corin, where's Corin from? I don't care, bro. Where is Corin? Corin, Fire Emblem again. Why are there so many Fire Emblem stands? I know, like, um, the reason why was to hype up the new Fire Emblem game on the Wii U, and that's why a bunch of them were introduced. But no one cares. Literally, no Western audience cares about Fire Emblem. I'm sorry to the people who actually do. Fire Emblem Three Houses came out. No one cared about that. I'm sorry. Um, but Corin, I put there. She's okay. Um, Cloud is Jesus Christ. Cloud is so good. I love Cloud. He's so epic. I put him near Samus. You know. There you go. Chrome Sword Fighter. Uh, Sword Fighter. There we go. We can put him there. You know what? We're gonna put him on top so you guys can maybe see him. Uh, Captain Falcon. He has this Falcon Punch, which is similar to Ike. But I'm gonna put him near the squids because that's where he deserves to be. Bowser is. I was essentially a bloody dragon, like, he's the same as Ridley, like, Ridley's not even, like, <laughs> Bowser Jr., it's pretty weak, not gonna lie, he's, like, there, there you go, he's, like, Diddy Kong, like, Donkey Kong is equal to, wait, where's Donkey Kong, why is D Diddy Kong stronger than Donkey Kong, I'm sorry, no, Donkey Kong, we need to move him up, there you go, <laughs> if you can actually see anything in the bloody death, um, yeah, but Diddy, um, what was I talking about? I was talking about Bowser Jr., wasn't I? Bowser is literally at the same place as Donkey Kong, and then Diddy is the same place. As, so they're basically equal. Um, Bayonetta, I have never played a Bayonetta game. I might also play that. I need to play a lot of games on Nintendo, but hey, it takes time, you know. It takes time and effort. Wait, have we done Peach? I swear we did Peach. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll do that in a second. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, um, Bayonetta is the last one apart from Peach. Bayonetta, I've never played the games, but I've heard she's pretty OP in Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate. So, you know what? I'm going to put her at the magic section. Where's the magic? About here, because she's okay. Um, now, let's go back to Peach. Sorry, I didn't sort her out, but she's basically the same um, level as Daisy, because they're literally the exact same. <laughs> Peach is an echo fight of Daisy, if you didn't know. But Peach and Daisy, I think, should be removed from the game. Like, I know they're, ma I know they're Mario, but so is Waluigi. Think about it. Waluigi's Mario. He's not getting the respect, isn't he? Isn't he? He's not getting the respect, which I think is really wrong. Because Waluigi should be in the game. And if Waluigi is in the game, I will buy Animal Crossing. I've made that promise to many people. I said, if Waluigi's in the game, I will buy Animal Crossing New Horizons. 
and people who know me know I hate Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is like trash, like you know trash that you find on the street. Yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizon is in that trash. It is disgusting. It is like <laughs> it's disgusting. Um so yeah virgins, chads and girl gamers, thank you for watching this video. Um I really appreciate it. If you like these type of videos, I might do more tier lists, more mukbangs, yes, that would be epic if I would do a mukbang. Imagine how cool that would eating ten thousand ramen challenge gong ron throw up. That would be so good. But guys, as we all know, King K Rule is the best character, so there was no point in this video. Literally, King K Rule is just the best. But all you all you salty Smash fans are gonna be like, no, he's not the best, he's trash. Ooh. There you go. King K Rule is the almighty leader. That's all we have to know. I'm sorry, I'm actually gonna move King K Rule out of the way so you can check my tier list. So basically King K Rule is the best, and then this is all my other ones who I'd be in a fight. If you guys want more tier lists, please comment down below what you would like to see in a video. Maybe a Q&A, so ask me some questions, maybe maybe a reaction video, you want me to react to something. KSI vs Logan Paul is on this Saturday, and I will give my opinion. Yes, I'm going to watch it illegally on Twitch, 100%. But I'm going to give my opinion on the fight and what the outcome is. And yeah, that's definitely a video coming. And then if you want me to do any other videos, please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and this has been your boy, 3Battle. Goodbye.